This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative to the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen. Adam Aaron it has been going on a Twitter storm. Okay? He's been going on a Twitter storm. And the reason he's going on this Twitter storm is because all... His bad deeds are being exposed. All his bad deeds are being exposed, and not just from from us, not just from us, not just from the retail investors, but from people who work in the court system, people who are independent, people who do not care. They do not care whether AMC goes to the moon or AMC goes to zero. They they're talking about his character, what he does. And then he puts out the tweet that, that people are saying, we're stealing your shares. That is exactly what you were doing. You want to steal 90% of our shares to help your hedgy buddies out, to take the pressure off of them. Okay? Because that's the only purpose that giving up 90% of your shares serves. It takes the pressure off of the the people who sold us those counterfeit shares it takes the pressure off of them amc is not in risk of going into any bankruptcy they're not amc is not at risk of going under two dollars they're not so this is absolute nonsense this is absolute nonsense in a squeeze play and that's what this is that's why people got in this play because they looked at the short interest and they said AMC is going to squeeze. In a squeeze play, the more shares you have, the more money you make. I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, the mantra was buy and hold. So what you say, the mantra was buy and hold until they made enough money selling us these counterfeit shares. And then I'll do a reverse split that I said a while ago I would never do. But now I want to do a reverse split and all the shares we've been saying, buy and hold, buy and hold. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock, but the mantra was buy and hold. And he was the one that paper handed in 2021 and made over $40 million. The most money he's made in his entire life. All his years as a CEO, he's never made as much money as he made as a CEO of AMC. When the retail investors saved the company. And now, and this is just my opinion, he has abandoned us. He has abandoned us for his hedgy buddies. Because they're the only ones that benefit from a 90% reduction in AMC stock. It does not benefit us one bit. All this thing about QCIP number change. All this thing about less shares for them, they be able to short is all nonsense because we all know they don't follow the rules. We all know that they will nick. Well, in my opinion, in my opinion, after that first split is done, they will nick it short it back down to five dollars and probably want another reverse split again. This will be like their piggy bank, okay? This will be the gift that keeps on giving the one percenters. That's what AMC is right now. It is a way for them to make easy money. And they got it so deep that the only way out now is us selling, which we're not selling. Apes are not selling. So the only other out is for the Adam Aaron to get this reverse split and make 90% of our shares just disappear in thin air. It's absolutely outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. And then he claims... That there are no synthetic shares. I see no proof of any synthetic shares. I see no proof of any, of any synthetic shares. Are you kidding me? We were on the threshold list for, what, 30 days or something like that? And they took us off when nobody bought any shares. And now we're back on the threshold list. Because the rules don't matter to them. Imagine, they could just take us off the threshold list when nobody's buying any shares in the open market. But you see no evidence of 
naked shorts, no evidence of synthetic shear, no evidence of counterfeit shear. It's absolutely outrageous. There's overwhelming evidence of synthetic counterfeit shears. Overwhelming evidence. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think Adam Aaron is working for our best interest or the best interest of the hedgies? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.